Hi, this is David Reavy, and I wanted to shoot a video of the setup I have here in front of me, which is the uh, comes from the SparkFun Inventors Kit Circuit 14, which is interfacing the 74HC595, which is a serial to parallel shift register. And one of the things about their sample sketch is it had a couple of different patterns that you could be running. Uh, one was called one after another, one was one at a time, ping pong, random LED, marquee, and binary. So I thought, well, it'd be fun to be able to actually have a demo of it where I could actively switch between the patterns. So I connected this uh, LCD display, which has a, a I square C uh, backpack on it from uh, Adafruit with uh, some push buttons and then set up my program so I could go through and select each, you know, select which pattern I wanted and then uh, activate it. The problem is, is the way when I first did that is if I'm in the process or if the Arduino is in the process of executing say active pattern for ex or one after another well once it goes into that function it cannot respond to the key press till it comes out so it made a very sluggish response to the actual uh, menu buttons. So what I did is I rewrote the code so that every um, millisecond I would get an interrupt from uh, my comp A register on timer zero and basically what I would do is I would check to see if either the pattern had changed or if 100 milliseconds had transpired. If that would happen then I would figure out which pattern I was on and then update it and then return out of that interrupt. This as you can see, bring the camera up a little for me please, I can move through the selections now very quickly. There's no delay. And if I say, oh, I want to do uh, ping pong, it makes a switch almost instantly. A random makes it very quickly. And this is all because I'm handling the updating of the LEDs through an interrupt service routine. Now, let's see what that looks like on a scope. Here on the oscilloscope on channel two, I am looking at pin 13 of my uh, breadboard. And one of the things I do here in my code is if uh, 100 milliseconds has uh, passed, I will toggle pin 13. And that creates a trigger for the uh, scope. So the blue channel, that's my trigger. And then what we see here on the yellow channel, which is channel one, is those, that's the clock going to the 74HC595 that's clocking the data out to it. And just to give you an idea of how little overhead this really takes, this pulse is going to happen once every 100 milliseconds. And we have uh, 20 microseconds per division. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven. So under 140 microseconds to update the pattern and then return control back to the main program which is monitoring the uh, the uh, button presses and just wanted to kind of show you you know what a, a way I just uh, had some fun with this circuit making it a little more uh, presentable uh, demonstrating different patterns that we could do again go back to ping pong random LED now, interesting thing about the random LED, look at how this is jumping here. The reason that is, is every other time I come through to update the LEDs, I either, well, one time I'll come through and just simply turn off the LED. The next time I come through, I call a random function. So there's going to be a variance between the time of this pulse and the time that it's ready to shift the data out, which is caused by the call to the random function, which probably, you know, looking at how much it's moving there is adding about oh five or six microseconds at the most but anyway that's uh, the fun I had today with the experiment 14 of the spark fun inventors kit and uh, doing interrupts and using the uh, oscilloscope to see what's actually happening under the hood here thank you for watching